Hi there. It's March the 29th, 2023, and I'm in the middle of a mission trip. And I am not leaving my apartment. Okay, so what's this to group? I am a third year student in a school of ministry that I personally have been doing over the internet. It's not like an e-course where you're not really seeing the person who is teaching or there's not any interaction. We have been very involved. We've been learning how to pray, how to heal the sick, and so many other things. And uh, one of the aspects of our school of ministry is to actually minister. It's not like a Bible school or a theological school where you're really, all you're doing is digging into the Bible, which is wonderful, much needed to do. But this brings the practical aspects of ministry into the picture. Some of our in-person team are all over the globe right now ministering in person. The only continent that they haven't traveled to is Antarctica. Poor Antarctica. It gets left off a lot. But let's go with the online. We're called Zoom Around the World because we are invited as teams from churches, youth groups, sports teams, teen centers, missionaries. I mean, it's amazing. The people who have honored us by inviting us into their space. And our first call for my particular team last night was actually in Canada. We were along the uh, north central coast of British Columbia, which is a pretty re remote area. A lot of small towns. This particular town that we went to is a larger of the small towns, but it's still pretty small. It's a port town, and uh, so we were able to zoom in there. Nobody got their luggage lost, and what did we do? Well, before we entered the Zoom call, I contacted the pastor of the church uh, and thanked him, for, number one, for inviting us, and number two, what would he like to see happen in that Zoom call? And he really wanted people to encounter God. And he really wanted people to have the Lord speak I identity to them, who they really are in Christ. Because there's been a lot of lies that people have put on these people over the years. Uh, you know, that they're no good, that they're worthless, that they'll never learn, all of these kind of things. In a small town, it can get pretty bad, which how people paint a picture of you who you're not really. So we went into the call and God had already given us a heads up because we met as a team and asked the Lord, what do you want to do here, Lord? And we really felt, yes, we were to speak identity over the people. We were to honor them. We were to uh, be grateful as we minister to them. And we were also to pray and to see people be healed. All of this happened last night in this Zoom call that was an hour and a half long. We saw people healed. One person in particular, uh, he had been working for in many years doing work that required him to bend and crouch. And so he had severe knee pain whenever he had to crouch. When we prayed for him, he tested it out. This is over a Zoom call. He's on the other end of the Zoom call thousands of miles from me. I don't know about the rest of them. And he was able to crouch up and down, up and down at least 10 times with absolutely no pain in his knees. And then another person felt uh, significant improvement in pain that had been in her neck and her shoulder. One other person, when we prayed about gastrointestinal issues, felt a lot of heat in his belly. It's kind of difficult to test that particular problem out. 
Uh, and we, but the wonderful thing is, is that we saw the expression of people's faces as we spoke to them what God would like them to know. And the biggest thing was that God sees them as in individuals. He knows their name. He knows their heart. He knows their circumstances. We were able to honor uh, the people of our First Nations in Canada. Uh, there were a few of them there. We were able to pray for them, um, honor them, and speak words of encouragement over them. Tonight, April the 29th, May the 29th, I should say, I don't know why my mind is in April, but on tonight, on March the 29th, we're going to be m m ministering in Ecuador. We're going to be using translators, and again, we are going to be coming in to honor and to respect and to love up on people who God loves so much. So if you want to pray for us, that would be wonderful, that we'll see lives changed and transformed, that lies that people have believed about themselves for many, many years would fall off of these people, that trauma on that some of the team that we are going to be ministering to tonight would be healed and for physical healing as well. God loves to move on his people, on all of his children, and it doesn't matter to him at all that I am in Canada and I am going to be ministering to a group over Zoom in Ecuador. Distance doesn't mean a thing for him when it comes to prayer and his power to heal and transform lives.